morning guys. It's Jaybird with Jaybird Fishing. It's a little after 6 a.m. I drove down to the Jersey Shore doing some early season fluke fishing on the water now. I'm trying to get out to the main channel to set up for my first drift. Probably 16 or 17. Yeah. I net everything above 16 though. Two, two inches, two inches in the water, you really can't tell. Sixteen. He fought like, he fought like a freight, a freight train though. <laughs> Hey guys, wanted to give you a mid-morning update. It's 9 o'clock. Morning update, guys. I'm a great keeper. inches 19 inch fluke okay yeah all I'm doing is staying forward like this because the currents pushing us this way oh wow and then I try to stay as vertical as I as I can if my bait is ahead of the kayak 
then all I'm doing is one pump, two pumps, so I catch back up to my line, and then I let the current push me back again, and I just keep repeating. There we go. Yeah, I marked this spot. I think I winged it. That's why it felt bigger. Well, I'm fishing in 10 feet and that's where I'm finding them. What do you think? What's up? All right. <laughs> uh, one o'clock. Yeah. I had a couple bites, but they were so gentle, I couldn't even get them on the hook. Yeah, I agree. And if the wind picks up or the boat traffic picks up, I'd rather be off the water. Hey guys, Jaybird with Jaybird Fishing. I'm doing a cooking portion to the fluke fishing trip that I took on Saturday. I didn't have a lot of action on Saturday, so I figure why not make a cooking portion to this video uh, to extend the quality of the video and to show you guys another recipe of how um, we cook our fluke. My brother's here to assist me, uh, so he's gonna help me out uh, the only ingredients we use for the video are going to be salt and pepper, uh, paprika, uh, a little bit of lemon juice, parsley, and flour. Uh, so the first thing would be to warm up your frying pan on medium heat uh, with light olive oil. And then we're going to salt and pepper the filet, a little paprika, put it in the flour, and from there into the skillet. The lemon juice and parsley we're going to use as a garnish after the filet is complete. So we're going to start that process now. We're not really using any certain measurements for the salt and pepper, tablespoon, nothing like that. We're just going by look. So that was the salt and pepper, a little bit of paprika for a little kick. Might be a little, 
little spicy, but hey, I don't mind the kick. And the fillets are rather thin. Uh, these fish were 18, 19 inches. The 18 probably had a pound of meat on it. The 19 probably had closer to two pounds of meat on it. So um, cook time is going to be two minutes a side. It's, it's really thin fillets. It's not like the uh, four and a half pounder that I caught uh, last Saturday. Uh, which took, you know, an extra minute or two aside, not that it was substantial time, um, but extra minute or two and would overcook this kind of filet. So we're going to keep the time rather limited. Shout out to my brother for uh, doing the preparations to uh, make the video a little bit easier. little olive oil in the frying pan using the olive oil that uh, John Skinner likes the uh, extra light gonna rotate here guys give me a moment Yeah, so we took the fish out 10-15 minutes ahead of schedule, have it warm up to room temperature so that the ingredients would uh, stick to the fish a little bit easier. Still fresh fish, uh, today's Monday, went fishing on Saturday. Definitely wanted to cook it though today, I don't like waiting the third or fourth day. Our side dishes is just going to be rice, Mexican rice, and some vegetables, steam fresh, nothing, nothing fancy. Like I said, two minutes aside. Nice light sizzle is what we want. Nice little strips there. 703, go till 705. This is my brother's recipe. I usually do the uh, egg or flour and lemon. So I was open to a different recipe. Yeah, my brother sent me a picture of the, the fish he cooked up last time. Uh, when I dropped it off at his house and the picture of the recipe looked really good. Either that or he's got a good phone with a good good camera. <laughs> so today we're trying the uh, his style of fish. 705 so we're going for the flip. You can see the nice light coating there. Nice little brown. The paprika makes the nice coloration too. In a minute we'll pull the fish out onto a uh, paper plate with a paper towel to uh, absorb some of the olive oil. So we got that squared away on the side. After both sides are finished up, another minute or two, just a matter of uh, putting it on a plate with your rice and your vegetable and enjoying your fresh fish. 
that's all I got for you guys. It's salt, pepper, paprika, a little bit of flour, light olive oil, two minutes aside if it's um, a thin fillet. Pull it back out and then you can either put a little bit of lemon juice or a little bit of parsley on top just for garnishing and a little extra seasoning. Beyond that though, it's a simple recipe and it tastes great.